and welcome to Tea Time Thursday. Um, kind of forgot a day, Tuesday. Well, I didn't really forget. It was more like it was my birthday over the weekend, and I had to catch up with all of it over. <laughs> so that just didn't didn't go go over so well. But we're here. We have a new tea that I got from my aunt Sherry yesterday on my cousin Jackson's birthday, and it is called. Island mango and peach, and it's by Lipton. And they come with these new little crazy doodads. Oh, doodads! <laughs> you are getting very sleepy. Very sleepy. It smells so good! Contrary to anybody's belief, mango and peach tea is not indeed mango or peach colored. It is green. It's green. Inside the tea we have white tea, green tea, orange leaves, rose hips, lemongrass, licorice root, and natural flavor, I'm guessing, is where the peach and stuff like that is from. But of course on the it says real orange leaves and lemongrass. How they get it to taste like mango and peach? So three to five minutes past, you know, smell the mango and preach goodness. This is the tea, plus like a thousand sugar packets. We're here with my roommate Ilka, who really doesn't like tea, and I thought she might like this mango peach one. Turns out she doesn't like peaches. But, more mango? Oh my god! I just want to say that it smells like peachios, you know, those trolley gummy, gummy worms. And I haven't tasted it yet, but she has. So. Is it really that bad? I think it's kind of nice. It has like a light flavor. It's not too really? lemony. -y. The only thing I like is the sugar in this. <laughs> <laughs> but I only yeah. added like a thousand little sugar packets. Instead of having like little containers or whatever, I it's don't okay know. for a tea. I for think it's good. Tea, but I'm not like her tea. It's it's good. It's good. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to do a peach dance? Me? See you next week. Bye.